This is Bonacle Provincial Park, one of the top five most popular provincial parks in Ontario. And that's for a reason. This is beautiful. Bonacle Provincial Park is located in eastern Ontario near the village of Cloyne in Lennox and Addington County. It is located on Mazinaw Lake in a heavily wooded area. It is one of the five most popular parks in Ontario and is famous for the pictographs on Mazinaw Rock. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Checking in? Yes, we yes. are. Do you have your site number? Yep. It is 323. Perfect. So you're going to check in to the next gatehouse ahead. Okay. So you're just going to follow the road about a kilometer. And when you get to the second gatehouse that looks like this one, mm -hmm. you can stop there. They'll uh, print your permits. If you need any firewood or ice, that kind of thing, they can set you up there. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank All you. Right, enjoy. Thank you. Bye. So we are at campsite 323 in Fairway Campground. And uh, he said for filling, we can just, uh, he said there's filling just on the right up here. Mm -hmm. And there's filling and dumping right there. You can see it there. Okay. But we can just fill up on the right here and then we'll head to our site. All right, let's go. Okay, here we are at the water filling station. There's a uh, fill up on either side, which is nice. Threaded hoses. We came in here, we're filling up here. Dump station is over here, but this is the fill up area. Then we're gonna go all the way here to Fairway, down here, and we're 323, right near the comfort station. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Now this is my kind of campsite. It's huge. It's flat, lots of room around the fire pit. There's some uh, low ground cover, which uh, blocks the view from a lot of other sites around, but uh, big tall trees, sun can shine through. This is a really, really nice site. Site number 323, Fairway Campground of Mazinaw. There are two main campgrounds at Bon Echo Provincial Park. There's Mazinaw, which is on the east side of Highway 41, and there's Hardwood Hills, which is on the west side of Highway 41. Mazinaw is the largest area uh, for campsites. It has three camping areas there. They are Fairway, Midway, and Sawmill Bay. Fairway has 104 electric sites and 15 non-electric sites. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my... Midway, which is radio free, has 56 electric sites and 55 non-electric sites. Mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. And Sawmill Bay has 42 electric sites and 120 non-electric sites. This is site 115. We had clicked on this site when it was available. We were going through the booking process. We lost it at the last minute. Something messed up. But uh, this is a real nice site with access right to the North Beach. Easy walk down right from the site. Okay. You have to excuse me being out of breath and my sweatiness. It's 32 degrees and the humidity's off the chart. We decided to go for a bike ride from our campsite in uh, Fairway Campground. And we're going to the Hardwood Hill Campground, which is on the other side of Highway 41. 
I uh, wasn't really uh, expecting it to be such a, uh, a hilly route. It's a big hill to get right into the Hardwood Hill Campground. We're going to check it out now and we're doing this for you. Hardwood Hills is radio free and has 100 non-electric radio free sites. This is the cabin area of Bunako Lake. There's five comfort stations with flush toilets and showers. This is a big park and it has a big trailer dump station. There's two lanes. It's very long so you don't get backed up into the main park road. There's uh, two dump sites and two potable water fill up sites. All the hoses are threaded. There's a visitor center. Unfortunately it's closed due to COVID. We've been in it a couple other times and it gives you a, a good history of the area. Next to the visitor center is a place called Greystones and it is a cafe and gift shop. There are six hiking trails totaling 40 kilometers including 1.4 kilometer leash free pet exercise trail. There's no cycling trails but you can cycle along the roads and you can get a good ride in. Today we're doing about 30 kilometers just on the roads in the park. This is the canoe launch at Joe Perry Lake. It's the departure point for the interior sites. Mazinaw Lake is a popular fishing lake for lake trout, yellow pickerel, small and largemouth bass, lake whitefish, and northern pike. Power boats are permitted on Mazinaw Lake only, and there are three boat launches into Mazinaw Lake. In this lagoon is where they have the rentals of kayaks, canoes, and SUPs. Rentals are happening this year, unlike most parks. In this area of the lagoon, you can drop off your kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, whatever watercraft you have, you can drop them off here, put your own lock on it, and it can stay here for the length of your stay. There's no charge for this. There's an amphitheater right next to the lagoon. There are three beaches. This is Main Beach. Just on this side over here is South Beach. And around the point over here is North Beach. Has a beautiful view. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. If you're looking for cell service at Bon Echo and you're with Bell, Kudo, Telus, or Virgin Mobile, you are out of luck. In the Mazinaw campground, you will get no service, no texting, no phone calls, no emails, nothing. If you come down to the uh, main beach area, or you go to the Narrows at the point there, or you go up on Mazinaw Rock, you might be able to eke out an email or something if you do a little dance and do the hokey pokey and spend some time there. <laughs> but generally, you are out of luck. However, if you're with Rogers, there's a tower that can easily be seen from the main beach and you get full service everywhere. I saw a woman at the next campsite over from us doing a video chat on her phone. So no problem there at all. Mazinaw Campground is the biggest campground here. But on the other side of Highway 41, there's the Hardwood Hill Campground. We found when we went over there with our Kudo phone, we were able to barely get a signal and were able to update some things. But it's certainly not something that you would uh, be trying to work from the campsite with.
Just seven kilometers south of the park on Highway 41 is the Maz. It's a paddle shop with some uh, paddling gear and also an ice cream shop. Unfortunately, you can't get any ice cream today because it's just too hot, apparently. Well, since we couldn't get any ice cream at the Maz, we came to Smart's Mercantile at Smart's Marina. It's probably about uh, five kilometers south of the park. Recently, I just got a Power Trail Junction e-bike. It's a pedal assist bike, so it doesn't have a throttle. And as I had on my previous bike, I have a basket up front for all my crap. Seat, uh, new seat cover, because the original one is a little bit uncomfortable. Had had a little more cushion. And the back rack, which prevents backsplash. Or if I need extra storage. I will be testing it out for a few trips before I do a full review of it. You may have noticed in the last couple of videos of Valence Conservation Area in Murphy's Point, most of the video of Cheryl on a bicycle is from behind. That's because I'm having trouble keeping up with her. And I can rarely get in front of her now to get some footage. Doing the cliff top trail on Mazinaw Rock. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? 135, 136, 137. 138, 139, 140, 141. Whew. That staircase, just a little bigger than the staircase at Point Farms. And this is only one staircase. One of the things we really like is a hike with a payoff, and there's a great payoff on this hike. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. This is the best place in the park for a Telus Bell Virgin Mobile or Kudo signal. If you look right there, there's the Rogers Tower. That's why Rogers gets a great signal in the park. The cliff top trail is only accessible by water. You can put your kayak in at the lagoon and paddle across. 
In non-COVID days, they have a ferry that goes from the lagoon across to the Clifftop Trail. Um, as you can see, the Clifftop Trail on Mazinaw Rock is not for anyone with mobility issues. There's a lot of rocky terrain, a lot of stairs, roots, a lot of uphill. Checking out some pictographs on Mazinaw Rock. Old Walt, 1819 to 1919. Dedicated to the Democratic idea. Now it's time for Cole's notes for Bon Echo Provincial Park. What did you think? This is a big park, and this is very a very large park, and it's a beautiful park. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of people. Um, but it's breathtaking, the scenery, the hiking, the kayaking, paddleboard sports. Yeah, th this park is huge and it is a lot of hustle and bustle, especially when you're in the Mazinaw campground, which is the main camping portion of the park. Um, if you do want to get a little more secluded and get away from all that hustle and bustle, then you could go to uh, our camp at the Hardwood Hill Campground, mm -hmm. which is on the other side of Highway 41. And there are also cabins that can be rented that are over on that side as well. Yeah. And uh, backcountry camping if you're into the paddle-in sites. There's 20, 25 sites. Yeah, and, and then you get some real <laughs> seclusion there. But for the main part of the campground at Mazinaw Campground, it's all about the views. Everywhere you look, you have beautiful views from the uh, three beaches and, well, kind of four beaches. One uh, they just don't have on the map as a beach, but it's a, it is a beach uh, swim area. There's beautiful views from everywhere. Um, and like you said, the hiking trails, if you take the cliff, cliff top trail, uh, you get up nice and high. Again, beautiful views. We were here, what, four days? Four nights, yeah. Four nights, and we still didn't have time to do everything that there was to do here. Well, the big draw around here is Mazinaw Rock. Um, and so then people like to go on the water to get up to Mazinaw Rock. Because when you're at the bottom of Mazinaw Rock in a canoe or a kayak or something, and you look up, it, it is breathtaking. Um, when you see the pictures uh, of people in a canoe or kayak at the bottom of Mazinaw Rock, and you see how much rock there is, it's amazing. And then there's the people that were climbing the rocks. Yeah, we saw that on our way back. Yeah, that to me is crazy. Now, you can't just go and climb the rock. Uh, those people, they get uh, registered and they are, are experienced uh, rock climbers. And there's specific routes that they have to take up the rock so that they don't cause any more damage to it. Mm -hmm. Also, I did see some uh, jumpers off the rock, but I believe that is not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you're not really supposed to be uh, climbing on the rocks at all or jumping from the rocks, but we did see people doing that. We did, we cycled, oh, we did a big long ride. Yeah, there's no actual cycling trails, but uh, you can do a lot of cycling in this park. If you wanna go from where we are in the Fairway Camp area, uh, all the way over to Joe Perry Lake on the other side of Highway 41, uh, round trip, we're talking 25 kilometers or so. So uh, you can get your cycling in if you want to. Mm -hmm. One thing I was surprised about is the majority of vault toilets that were closed in this park. The odd ones were open. All the three comfort stations were open. But um, so if you're a little bit further out in your campsite, you have a bit of traveling to do to get to the toilets. There are no group campsites in this park, which I was kind of surprised being such a large park. Unfortunately, the visitor center is closed due to COVID reasons. Uh, in the past, we have been here and I really enjoyed the visitor center. It gives you a, a whole history of the area and there is a, a significant history in this area. There used to be a hotel here in the uh, early 1900s. Uh, it's big heyday was in the 1920s, so about a hundred years ago, and it was run by a woman. So uh, there's a strong feminist uh, history to this park. Unfortunately, that hotel burnt down in the 30s but you can uh, see where it is here uh, near the uh, Narrows Point. 
Yeah, that's one of my favorite spots to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bring your uh, water, sports, paddle boards, etc. Bring your bikes because there's a lot of biking around the park to do. Um, if you're with Bell, tell us Virgin Mobile oh, or Kudo. Yeah, it's you can leave your phone because yeah. you can't do much with it. No. Uh, if you're with Rogers, you're good to go. Yeah. Sorry, Bell. <laughs> so as far as the rating goes for this park. Here's what we're going to give it. That's right. We gave it a nine. Nine. We really, really enjoy this park. Uh, there's a reason it's one of the top five most popular parks in Ontario. And uh, I don't think you can go wrong if you come to this park. It is really nice. You will enjoy it. Yeah. So that's our review of Bonaco Provincial Park. And next, we're going to be going to Silent Lake. And uh, we'll do a review of that. Yeah, we'll see you there. We'll see you then.